What's up everybody, John here with another video for those of you that are interested in getting a job on board a cruise ship. Got a brand new topic for you and this one's going to be all about the Wi-Fi for crew members. Now I just recently posted up a video about this and I had to take it down because it turns out some things have changed, at least with Carnival, on the cruise line that I'm more familiar with. So a portion of the video has uh, outdated information. That doesn't say, mean to say that the rest of the video is uh, not accurate. So I'm just going to do a quick redo of that, letting you know some more updated videos. Uh, so as far as internet access for crew members on board, there is Wi-Fi available for crew members. When you're on board the ship and you want to use the crew Wi-Fi, you can do so, and there will be a fee for it. It's not going to be as expensive as the guest Wi-Fi is. Um, it's also not going to be very quick, so you're not going to be able to do many things. Uh, so you'll have limited times to uh, limited amount of time to use the Wi-Fi. So, regarding the actual internet, I would strongly recommend saving all your internet that you need to do until you get off the ship and you go into the ports and find a place that's got Wi-Fi for crew or just Wi-Fi in general. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of bars, sometimes there's cafes that you can just kind of go in, grab a coffee, and then sit and hang out for an afternoon and jump online. They may have quality internet, they may not have quality internet, or it might be good and then the more people that are there, the slower it gets. So every port's got at least some decent Wi-Fi. Some have some better selections than others. Some don't have anything good. So you're going to want to find out that information, where the Wi-Fi is when you're in port. Uh, as far as the crew Wi-Fi goes, you uh, will have to pay for it and they'll charge you by minute or there's plans that are involved and you'll be able to access that Wi-Fi in the crew areas only. Um, now again, like I said before, the, a lot of the information that I have is based off my experience with Carnival Cruise Lines and their crew Wi-Fi program. Um, I'm sure it's gotten a little bit better, maybe quality-wise, uh, but when I was on, it wasn't too bad. What I would do is I would pre-type all of my emails, pre-type any messages that I wanted to do in blogs, and then copy and paste it when I signed online, pasted it right to where it needed to be, and then signed offline again. So I would be online for like three minutes, but I would be able to send out a bunch of emails or post a blog, so I wasn't wasting time. And then any pictures or videos that I wanted to upload, I would do that when I was in port. Now, just to kind of give you an idea, uh, a friend of mine sent me the updated internet plan for crew members, at least for Carnival, and I'm sure other cruise lines have something similar. Uh, similar. So thank you, Gemma, for the update. Um, she let me know that I, what I said in my previous video was that you can buy a $20 card and that'll give you 200 minutes. That's no longer the case. Now you can buy a $5 social media plan and it works for 24 hours for social media sites. So you can use it for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, WhatsApp, Pinterest, and Snapchat. So you can buy a specific $5 internet plan just to have access to those sites with Carnival. I don't know if other ships are doing this or other cruise lines are doing this, but this is just for Carnival. Uh, then they also have internet plans by the minutes. So now they have, instead of the old $20 for 200 minute cards, they have a $10 card for 100 minutes and then a $40 card for 450 minutes. And then there's also an hour flat rate that you could purchase for $3.99 and you can use whatever you like in that hour. And then you can purchase a $12 plan for 24 hours and you can use whatever you like but only up to 250 megabytes. So that might affect any downloads that you'd like to set up for overnight. You know, again, any downloads that you'd like to do I would save for the ports when you're in port, you may have a better Wi-Fi connection. I know me personally, when I was downloading some uh, movies and videos um, from iTunes, uh, when I would get like my digital copies and stuff, I would go to, there were two places. One was a breakfast place that I would eat at in Cozumel. They served all meals, but I went for breakfast. Um, and then the other one was when I was in Monaco, there was actually a cafe that they had one of the royal weddings there, so I don't know if they just had this special super Wi-Fi set up for a couple of months, but we went there and took advantage and downloaded a lot of, uh, a lot of large files very quick. Uh, we just had to pay for a drink at the bar, and a Coke was 6 euros, which is like $10. Probably not that much, but it was expensive. <laughs> it was a fancy cafe, but very fast Wi-Fi. Um, so again, 
The internet for crew, you can gain access on board with the crew Wi-Fi plans, whatever the actual cruise line that you're working for offers for their crew. The Wi-Fi will not be you know, amazing. It's not going to be anything super fast, but it'll get the job done. And then what you're really going to want to do and save money is wait for the ports of call where you can then find a cafe or a restaurant or a place that's got Wi-Fi. Ask around, ask the people that you're working with because they'll tell you or they'll keep it to themselves because they know it's really good. But it's usually nice to share and then you can go to some places. Um, most of the places only require that you buy something to eat, to drink. There are a couple that charge you um, for like a, a, an hour or two hours, you'll pay like $5 and it's good internet then. Um, or there's some places like in Cozumel, there's a no name bar, uh, which is where all the crew go to just hang out by the pool and go swimming. So you don't even need to buy anything and you can get on the Wi-Fi there, but that's like only crew that are there. So there's a lot of places that are like that. A lot of the ports look out for the crew and they know exactly what they need and what they, uh, what they miss from home. And the Wi-Fi is one of those those top commodities. So don't feel weird bringing your laptop off the ship when everybody's getting off in their bathing suits and, and going swimming. If you're bringing your computer and you just want to sit on the computer all day, because remember, you'll be at that port every week or every other week. So you can spend one of the port days or a couple hours of the port day online catching up with friends back home because that's one of the hard things is being away for so long. So I hope this helped. I hope this little bit of information kind of helped rest your minds. Uh, for those of you that were concerned about the Wi-Fi, you're not going to have as much freedom as you do at home where you can just jump on whenever you want, play video games online. You won't have that, but you'll be able to keep up with people at home and, and, and download some things and, and upload your pictures and videos and stuff like that. So if you have any questions about the Wi-Fi or anything else that's uh, relevant to working on board a cruise ship, make sure to leave those down in the comments below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Got a lot more videos on their way with some more topics for those of you that are interested in working on board a cruise ship. So once again, my name is John and I'll see you guys later.